There has been so many good ports coming to mobile lately, and today is no different. I have been looking forward to Children of Morta for so long, I've almost purchased it on multiple platforms, and I'm the mobile games guy, so if it comes to mobile, I'm guaranteed gonna get my hands on it, and I'm super stoked to share my first impressions of it with you all. Before we get into it, please leave a like, pop a sub, comment down below, all of that jazz. Now, just to give a heads up, this video is sponsored by Playdigis, and they're fantastic company I've taken sponsorships from them in the past and if you guys check out the link in the description down below for iOS and Android if you want to get the game and you like what you see that would really help me out I'd really appreciate it but without further ado let's get right into it All right, here we are with the game. Now, I am playing on my iPhone 15 Plus just on the touchscreen. This does have full controller support as well, but the touchscreen controls are fully customizable. I'm gonna be using the default control scheme just to test it out, but it's good to keep in mind. Now, there was some cutscenes before. This is a roguelike action game with RPG elements, but also in between runs, you have consistent progression, especially in terms of story. Now, you play as different members of a family who are entrusted to protect the world itself, basically from corruption. You know, you've kind of seen it before, but the narration and the way this story is like written, you guys will probably see some of it as I'm going. Um, I'm really impressed so far with the story. Like, I've never really played a roguelike with, like, story other than Hades. So I'm actually pretty stoked. Wow, okay. So we got a dash. And it looks like we have a shield icon. Okay. And we're running through. Look Rhea, at this pixel art, though. Land Look at this pixel art. A place of unimaginable beauty. See, that narrator is like... Wow. <laughs> I have a sucker. I, I'm I'm just a sucker for good narrators. That looks like maybe a, a save point, maybe. Um, but I literally just watched a cinematic and the setup, and we're right here. Slithering creatures, small and vile. Use the joystick to attack. Oh, you have to direct your attacks. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. If you guys know me, like with twin stick shooters and stuff, I like to have to aim my attacks instead of having it auto aim for me. Let's see if, yeah, if you touch the button, it's not going to auto aim for you. Okay. You got to direct your attacks. Now, since you're playing as different members of this family, this game on other platforms is co-op centric. You can play as different members of this family together and play the whole game. Um, I'm just tanking these hits, by the way. Uh, in co-op, but uh, I don't think that's going to be in the game upon release. They're gonna introduce it as an update later Oh, these guys look uh, more serious. Let's dodge. Oh look. We're ahead of the game telling us to dodge I'm pressing it. Oh, it looks like we have stamina actually There we go, so this guy's kind of like beefy with his sword. He feels kind of slow but methodical We just got some heals. Oh now it's a combinations. It's throwing it all at us now. It looks like we can stagger people with the sword hits as well, which is pretty sweet. I'm just going to sit here and tank it. Okay, we got our heals. Another save point, it looks like. So it's just introducing the mechanics. A wall impeding further progress. A battle. A I love this narrator. Okay, special ability. Oh, this, so this is an ability specific to him. Now, apparently, in between runs and stuff, you can upgrade a tree. Maybe we'll see that in this gameplay uh, that I'm doing. You can upgrade a tree with various abilities or stat points and stuff, so you can unlock new abilities down the road. But this is what makes this member... Oh, I can hit him with it. If it's out of stamina, it'll only block some. So when you're desperate, you can bust it out and kind of block some damage, which is nice. But I'm not desperate. I'm all about the, uh, the best... Defense is a good offense. <laughs> we're we're uh, twisting that a little bit for our own benefit. Okay, we're kind of cleaning up, cleaning house right now. Everything feels pretty smooth, especially like I feel like uh, my attacks have some weight to them. Okay, use the Bergens, the the Bergsons. That's the family's name. The Bergsons. Uh, use their shard of life to cleanse the corrupted object. Okay, so we're cleansing the land. We're protecting it. By light itself, we have shards, shards of light. It looks abated, like, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark 
in need of life. This is crazy. Greater chest, okay, gemstones though, but gemstones are found in different places, like this animal corpse. Ooh, gnarly. We're gonna pluck that out of a. Grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. This kind of reminds me of Bastion. Have you guys ever played Bastion, where the narrator like kind of narrates what you're doing? Okay, Atara's ignition, divine grace, damage enemies, burn and fire. Ooh, okay, we got kind of like a. An artifact of some sort, so before the roguelite elements are already now, layering. Let's go. Dangerous than those that came before. Oh, okay. This one's uh Oh I'm terrified, actually. This is kinda kicking my butt. Oh. We busted out this Oh. So here's the skill point. Press the character's portrait to open up the skill tree. So here's the skill tree I was talking about. Okay, I see. Gain a skill point when you gain enough XP. Hold to continue. Spend skill points to learn new skills. The selected ability's description can be seen on the right panel. Press check with the available skill selected to learn it. Okay, and check. There we go. Heaven Strike, that sounds freaking sick. More skill skills become available as you spend more skill points. Aight. So what's this one? We're going to test it out. Yo, that's actually way cool. I love the art Gods, style. This is what I, why I've almost bought this so many times. Out than you. Try your new learn skill. Oh, so auto targets. That's sick. We need some healing from these guys. Give me, give me your heals. Yes, sir. Notice the skill is now on cooldown. but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. Dang, dude. Throwing this up like screen mirror or something on a big screen with a with a controller, or maybe even playing it on an iPad, would smack. The headphones, Before everything feels crazy. Sacred ground, left untouched. In days gone by. I need to shut up so that you guys can hear the narrator. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Whoa. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, with bow and quiver at the ready. Oh, are we gonna get to play as her heart. now? I hope so. I always, little do you guys know, I never go with the sword wielding guy. I always go with the bow wielding guy or girl, or I always go with like the sorcerer or sorceress. Just fun fact. All right. Can I play as her? Oh, she's gonna assist us. Can we switch? Yo, what is this? This is an activatable? Yo, does it have a cooldown? It does. All right, let's go. Divine. Yo! A divine relic, a gift from the gods. Use it to fight, turning the tide in your favor. Oh, there we go. Oh, so it electrocutes stuff around us. So I'm kind of like the tanky character. I hope we get to play as the bow, bow chick. Yeah, that's really technical. The bow chick. Linda, I think is her name. If I remember correctly. Before the guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming Destroying others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Oh, he wants the smoke. He's walking. He doesn't seem bothered at all. So do we have to kill the spawn area? Let's slam this. Let's slam this down. Bust out the shield for the last few. Yeah, you really can, if you're not aiming right, you can totally whiff, man. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Man, she, Linda's about it, or whatever her name is. She's, she's smacking it, smacking it up. These guys are nimble. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts 
their hearts heavier than before. His daughter, How his eldest daughter, not his sister. What they had witnessed. Okay. So they're just beginning to see the corruption and realize what's going on. The ancient tree had been cut down. The art direction. Dude. Together, oh my God. father and daughter described the horror. A sucker for pixel art, man. Dripping with decay. You guys have heard that a million times. Bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. You know Grandma Margaret is about a it, as they say. Spoken of There's no way she's not. Hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was no pressure, also geez. eager to do his part in the family's fight. Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, So that's the goal of the game, the is to reach the summit. Done in the past, they would need the assistance of the sanctuary. Wow. I love that green. I love that color. What a cool premise, dude. Like, basic, it's easy to understand, but, like, it just has, like, kind of a flair to Given it. Given to the Berkses by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task. All right, now we know what we need to do. And open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. So three spirits? We gotta collect three spirits, it sounds like? By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their yeah. lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. All right, we got our quests, baby. Oh, so we get a pan around. I think you do get to upgrade things at home too. Like you get to see everything at home, kind of whatever you collect in the dungeons and the runs, you get to see it change over time, which is pretty sick. So maybe if we return home, we can switch to, uh, I hope I'm not saying her name wrong, Linda. The panning is interesting. It's very sensitive. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go to the chapter select. Let's just do it. So we're so there's chapters in a roguelike game. That's interesting. I've just not Holmes played a lot of roguelike games with that. Must be here, or she needs to be found. Ooh. Okay. This is all right. You know we gotta go with Linda. Oh, ho, 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 let's get it. I'm actually so stoked. I, it, it's literally been years that I've almost played this game. I don't think you guys realize. From the ancient crystal in the sanctuary, it would be the Berksons' lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before. So that's what gives the shards the light, and then once you use the light, then they have to go back and recharge it on the big crystal. Okay. 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 All right, well, this has been pretty good. I'm uh, I'm glad that you guys have the exposition. You get to hear a lot of the narrators and stuff. I was kind of worried that you guys wouldn't get the full experience just seeing the gameplay. But we've gotten a good mix. This place looks gnarly, jeez. Hope you guys uh, aren't don't have a phobia of spiders, man. Arachnophobia is what it's called, right? They must find the spirit deep within the caves. All right. Using her bow, Linda takes out her enemies from a distance. She can use the joystick attack to aim and shoot at the same time. She uses stamina to shoot while moving. Her stamina regenerates automatically. Whoops. Stamina regenerates automatically when she doesn't move and shoot all the time. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. Cool. Wait. 
Where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, so here's the attacks. Oh, here's the button. Ah! Oh, shoot! Oh, frick! So, sh it's interesting. She doesn't even have a shield icon yet. I mean, not a shield icon, but, like, another ability at all. I wonder if we'll unlock that as we play. What the heck is that thing? Does that, like, attract the bats or something? Oh, I need a freaking... Ugh! Dang, I'm getting messed up. Oh! The Bergson oh my gosh, I already died. Away, wondering if this was death. Was Man, if I didn't die uh, almost immediately, um, this would not be one of my gameplays. <laughs> I I have a, such a bad history of just getting smoked right off the they rip with new games. Air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. So the shard brings them back, and that's how you're able to dive in multiple times. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. <laughs> so look as the story is continuing. Even though I just got smoked, we're getting more exposition, no which is good. No longer were they part of the harmony, the Rhea. With the new threats looming. Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He oh, so here's some of the consistent pr uh, progression. The warrior families I wonder if we were meant to die. Armor. Maybe that's just me telling myself that I'm meant to die. <clears throat> but she's way squishier than the guy with the sword. Maybe while I'm learning the game, I'm going to use the guy with the sword. Can upgrade and enhance Ferguson's. Okay. To the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Morta, their equipment need to be of the highest quality. So here's the workshop. We do have to use... Okay. All right. Armor up improves the health by... Okay. So we're getting smoked, but it's like, hey, you need to uh, do this. Except... So we have some better armor, thank God. Um, now we're gonna dive back in. We're gonna do one solid run, uh, and hopefully I don't die within the first 30 seconds. Okay. We're gonna choose Beefier Boy, cause I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit trash with Lindy. Lindy L Linda. Okay, sweet. So, plus we have the uh, level up thing too, with his ability. So I think we'll be able to handle these guys a little bit more. Do we have a combo going on? What's going on? Oh, the flames. Yeah, we do have a combo going on. That's wild. What is this thing? I wanna know. Dude, I like that big, like, raining from above sword attack. Holy something. Man. So we are getting currencies. I need to dodge more. I'm glad that we're not only fighting the purple stuff. What is this? Requires a gemstone. So we gotta find a gemstone. Oh, oh. We did lose that uh, artifact that we got last time. So we did just level up as well. What's this thing? Ow, what the frick? <laughs> All right, let's level up this again. It looks like we don't have any, oh, not enough skill points. We only have one skill point, we need two. So it looks like some of them will be blocked off for some time. Boom. But the good thing about this roguelike is I feel like you're always gonna come away from a, a run Feeling like you made progress, which I like. I'm. I know I might be in the minority here, but I don't really like roguelites where I have to start over from scratch, and just begin from the very beginning with no progress made. Like it's really hard for me to get into games like that. I think Shattered Pixel Dungeon is probably the only one that I've really enjoyed doing that. Okay, we just unlocked this. We're just exploring. Okay, we did get some some health from that one. We needed that, dude. 
We just have to make sure we we swing enough to uh to stagger them. All right, we might need the shield for this one. Yeah, the shield the shield saved your butt, dude. It may be a little bit wonkier to use, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's way easier with him. I could see how the bow, like he could tank for Linda as they roam around. So I could see the potential with co-op. This is going to be a blast when they release the co-op update. There is cloud saves, by the way. There, There is going to be cloud saves on release. You can save, load them. So you can play it between devices with cloud saves. That's the whole perk. Okay. We're getting a little bit low. What is this thing? Okay. Here's some of the spiders. Jeez. Ew. I'm like playing it a little bit safer right now. But I think the consistent progression is needed. Like, I need to get stronger. I need to level up his abilities. The more time you spend with a character, I assume, the, the, the more fun you get you have with them because you have more abilities at your disposal too, which is nice. Oh, I thought my, my computer just turned off. Had to check that real quick. Oh, and you can explore the spider webs too. Yo, okay. Do we just whack this one? Nope. Guess you can only explore some piles. Oh my goodness gracious. We're using our... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Run away! Oh my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, the falling swords save our life. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. Which is good. I enjoy a, um... A challenge. Yeah, if you can just start staggering them all, you're in you're you're in business, dude. You're gonna start dashing. Okay, you can break things in the environment. Okay, let's keep Oh, oh, whoa, what the spike traps? Dang, what the frick? What is this? Give me something useful. Did just give me more money? Dude, I'm gonna be able to upgrade a lot of crap right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not ready for this. Pilgrim this is probably where the run ends. Have mazes, now trapped. Their poor families oh, that's are grim. Are looking forward to a return that will never happen. That is grim. No, thank you. The boss has to be through here. Or maybe... No, that seems a little bit short for a boss, right? Oh, stage two, Silk Caverns. The halls of Anea Dyer, so mesmerizing in their magnificence, were to be found at the end of a long road. Just look at the and art the style, man. never knows what is waiting them at the end of a road. Moving is more important than reaching. Moving is more important than reaching. All right, we're going this way. I'm gonna start playing a little bit reckless. We're diving straight in, baby. Oh my gosh, we destroyed. Get out of here, boy. Oh, that was such a waste. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Hey, we got a we got a combo going though. Bring it, boy. Oh my gosh. Lots of goodies on that one. Okay, trade of might. Consumes a random divine item on you to increase your primary oh, pfft, by all means, dude. Charms are magical objects found. Okay. So we're learning. Give me all that gold though. I need to remember that I'm still, uh, what's in here? What strange oh. thing could have dragged grandmother this far? I told you she's about it, man. Those still obelisks 
to aid the Guardians. This was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. And the Bergson had to return home Move at a greater in speed order to understand them. what had occurred. Dang. So we're quicker now. I wonder if we have enough for a level up yet. Oh, we're dead. All right, that's good. Because this is getting a little bit long but for a gameplay. But there we go. It has all the stats at the end. Man, I keep having to forget like I'm actually like engrossed in the game. I'm like, dang. But uh Kevin's need to help all began when his He has a slingshot. Mark left the house. His brother was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. Damn. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed. A focal point for his aspirations. See, it gives you that, like, Hades story, you know? Like, characters, more exposition between runs. Gives you something to look forward to after you die. That's really cool. But anyways, this was Children of Morta. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm excited to delve even deeper into it. I bet it feels great with the controller. Um, I will let you guys know in the comment section down below if it's good with the controller. I'm going to play outside of this and let you guys know after I'm done editing. But man, the touch controls, strictly touch controls, very good. Uh, as a port, literally no issues. You guys just saw it here uh, for the iOS version. I will test the Android version as well and let you know in the description and the comment section down below how that performs as well. Again, click on that link in the description down below. It would really help me out. You guys don't even have to get the game. Just click the link. At least check it out. See how much it is uh, and see if you guys would like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.